right now on Max. I brush no ones uh, but that's tied this guide go in. That's the move. Stand my civil moral support. This three three two tracks in the days and buckies. Can't keep this without. Boy, 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 boy. What is up guys? What is up? And yeah, what happened here? I start yesterday I was chilling and I got a message from a friend of mine. He sent me this video. It was happening live. I was told by the hour I was getting updates, I was getting new videos, and that's the videos we have here. Now, let me start with a disclaimer. All of us get stuck from time to time. I get stuck. I'm terrible at 4 x 4 That's why I get professionals to help me and guide me through these things. But I've also been in situations where, like this guy over here, you're stuck in a bad, bad spot. We're not going to tease the guy. Let's keep it clean in the comments. But we are going to look at this, maybe have a couple of laughs and possibly figure out how we can, if we are in similar situations, not to be in the situation. So let's start with that guy on the left there. Why is he washing himself? It looks like he's actually like <laughs> totally rinsing himself off there. It looks like he's rinsing his own. Like this water is fresh. On that side, the water is fresh. Where are we? We are in a place called Macassar, which if you look over here, this little estuary, it's a new word that I learned, um, runs into the ocean here. And I think these guys went over that section over there. Now I say these guys because some new evidence came to light. Julian Johnson, over to you. Oh, this must be so terrifying. What am I gonna do now? The water's not that deep. Oh, stuck, guys. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm gonna, yeah, so that is bad. That is bad, right? That is super bad. So I've spoken to a couple of experts to try and get to the bottom of this, right? I spoke to my buddy G Boy, and G Boy was telling me, you know, when you stand on the beach, right, and the water pulls away from you and it kind of washes away and your feet sink into the sand the air and the water gets sucked back with the tide if your tires are in muddy water like that like at that estuary that's going to happen to the wheels so now the wheels get sucked down you know when you try and pull your feet out you can't get it out again that's what happened to this guy here so this bucky is properly stuck in this mud now and look at the light the light is starting to fade i started getting messages let's say i think five six o'clock or something and like seven o'clock, I'm getting another video. Right, 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 come, come. These guys are helping. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the help, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. But it's not working, guys. This thing isn't even moving, bro. This thing isn't even moving. And I check now where the wheel slow down. That's disappointment right there. When the wheel slows down so slowly, oh, that's disappointment because you realize, and again, I'm saying this because I've been there, you realize that you are in big trouble now. Like, this is getting bad now. This is bad? Like, we could lose a 900,000 rand bucky now. So now, friend comes to tow them out. Should be fine. Let's see. We'll probably just pull it. No problem. Let's tow. Let's tow the buddy out. Here we go. Comes up. It's now sunset, right? And then you can hear the tone of the voice of the guy in the background, like, guys, we need to sort this out now, guys. Guys, if we don't sort this out now, 
that 900,000 rand bucky is gone. The guys are worried now, eh? I don't blame them. I don't blame the guys for being worried. Now, at this stage, I got this one at about 8 o'clock. I think I got this at about 8. And a friend of mine, same friend, G-Boy, told me the tide comes in at about half 9. So they probably got to about half 9 to get this out there. They had two buckies, I think, tied to each other, trying to pull this forward out of the, the ground, over, out of the, the mud over there. That's the move. Stand my self for moral support. There are two tow trucks in the days and buckies. Fuck it, this world. That guy is unintentionally hilarious. Let's listen again. That guy's so funny. Whoever that guy is, you find it. That's the move. Stand my self for moral support. There are two tow trucks in the days and buckies. Fuck it, this world. So in the comments here, someone named uh, Earl Clarkson said that Uncle Glenn got them out. And well done, Uncle Glenn, man. These guys won top of their game here. Yeah. On top of the game. Look at that. Even without the toe, they're not being towed at the moment. Come on, Glenn. There we go. There we go. So now the guys kick in. They can pick up the rope over there. Amazing. There we go, boys. Yes. Well done, boys. Well done. Well done, boys. Let's check. Uncle, just watch the front of the back here. As they come out, just watch. Watch the front of the back here. <laughs> just watch there. Whoa, 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 Uncle Glenn. <laughs> but the boys got it out. Well done. Well done, guys. I got some tips on how to avoid this. G-Boy gave me these tips. And number one is stay away from the watermark. So you know where the water comes till? Once after that point there, the sand gets very soft and that's what's going to happen here. The car's going to sink down in the sand like that. So you want to stay away from the watermark. You need to understand the tides also. I think these guys were stuck for a long time. You don't also want to be in a situation that if my bucky's stuck here for two hours, it's going to be gone by half past nine. They were an hour shy from that tide coming in totally and that would have been a disaster. And then for myself as well, I've made many mistakes in 4 by 4s but luckily I've been in situations where I can make mistakes. So if I get stuck here, it's fine. Nothing's going to happen. We did have one situation where the sun was setting in the dunes and it would have been a problem but other than that i've never been stuck in the ocean like that so if you are going to practice new things rather go practice in a safe environment rather go practice somewhere where this um can't happen where you're not going to lose your bucky if you make a mistake and again i'm not the expert at 4x4 in fact i'm pretty bad at 4x4 but i make sure that i surround myself with guys that are better than me and then i learn from those so guys again i'm sorry to the dude with the ford raptor that got stuck there it's not a ford thing guys let's be realistic here any bucky would have gotten stuck there and we saw that BMW was also stuck in there. Um, so sorry your Bucky got stuck. Congratulations on getting the Bucky out. I'm very glad that your Bucky's safe and sound, bro. I'm really glad. And I think everybody kind of breathed a sigh of relief. I don't know the backstory. I don't know why I was there. I'm not going to assume to know why I was there. But that's basically my reaction to what happened, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And comment below and let us know what you think happened out there at Macassar Beach. Cheers, guys.